Hey everyone, this is Haley from Cartoon Universe, and seemingly out of nowhere, we kind of have another Steam Universe leak. Or you might actually call it a Lapis Lazuli leak. You're pretty funny for a mirror. Okay, I'm sorry for that one, but this is actually pretty interesting. So we just recently, uh, like almost a day ago actually, I didn't see this until this morning when I woke up. But um, so basically it looks like a voice actor posted on her Instagram story a little clip of Lapis singing. And also the, it looks like either the voice director or maybe just sort of the director of this episode, although that doesn't make too much sense, also posted. Um, you know, the, the same clip, and it's in Portuguese, uh, Portugal Portuguese, I guess that's different from Brazilian Portuguese a bit. Uh, so they posted a clip of them singing. And, uh, so apparently the translation goes, like, something like this. Uh, coziness of the home, and that I'm no longer lonely. Or someone says that maybe it means cause I find the coziness of this sea. So something to do with, you know, home or the sea or something about earth, definitely. So this seems to be pretty legit because the voice actor, I believe, of Lapis, that would make sense, uh, Vania Bluebird, uh, she's a Portuguese voice actor. She posted this on her Instagram story, like I said, and I don't even know how to pronounce the, um, you know, the other guys, uh, on the one who posted first on his Instagram story, which is actually public. It's probably gone by now because they only last 24 hours. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to say his name. But if you guys want to tell me what you thought you heard in that clip, uh, what, you know, you thought Lapis was saying, if you, if anyone speaks, you know, Portugal Portuguese, uh, anyone? So let's get into dissecting this little clip. So at first we see a silhouette of Lapis. She kind of looks like how she was in the answer, and even there's something on the bottom. Uh, there might be a door behind her or something, I don't really know. But then we can see her in view, full view, and we can also see that everyone else is there. Even Paradox there, so definitely for her to see something with Lapis, it's gonna mean a lot. And we don't really know, you know, she was very sad about Lapis leaving. So hopefully, I mean, they can eventually, if they get into contact again, they can, you know, kind of make up and kind of become friends again because this was really sad to see what Lapis did to Peridot. I feel really bad for Peridot. Um, so hopefully things get better eventually and I want to see how Peridot reacts to Lapis's current state. Which, um, if you know, like I said with the lyrics themselves, it seems like she misses Earth or well, whatever she considers home, which is probably now the Earth. And Peridot's like, ha, I, I got you. I mean, like, yeah, I was right. You know, this is our home. You don't have to leave it, you just, you should stick with us. And Lapis didn't want to do that at first, but now she's probably regretting her decision of literally taking the barn and flying off to who knows where. But speaking of who knows where, where is Lapis exactly? Well, we can't really tell, but, um, you know, it seems like the crystal gems are maybe on the moon base and actually contacting Lapis through the moon base sphere that we have talked about. Michael just talked about it, actually. And I think, I don't think he was correct on what it does, um, but there definitely was like a star map there, definitely, because they, it seems like they are able to contact other moon based spheres, and it's actually a way, perhaps, for gems to be teleported to other planets. So, um, they all, they're, these are all moon bases, as we can see, um, just like how the jungle moon was also a moon, and we know we have our moon on, from Earth, um, those both had bases, so, it seems like only moons are the ones that uh, get these bases. So it actually appears that Lapis does not know that the Crystal Gems are looking at her. It seems like they're almost spying in a sense. Um, so there's a couple options of what's happening here. So we see in the background at first that it's Beach City, which doesn't really make sense unless, of course, Lapis is at a moon base. Uh, she is, you know, by the spear itself and she is projecting Beat City onto the walls because that is what she views as home. And then the crystal gems are looking at her from another moon base and seeing what she's doing. And they are, um, you know, watching her sing about Earth and she's projecting that onto the walls. Or, of course, they are somehow just at Beat City and then she's by a moon base. Um, and, you know, they are spying on her, but she's still just at the moon base. Nothing weirds happening there with the projections but it does seem that it is a projection because at the end of the clip everything fades back to blue as if it's a moon base which we should expect 
So it seems like they should be able to contact Lapis, in fact, and, you know, get her attention just after she's done singing, because her singing's quite nice, apparently. So we'll get that, definitely. And once they contact her, um, maybe she'll tell them, like, oh, you know, come, I really need you guys. Or she'll be like, um, just, just leave me here alone to, to rot <laughs> and cry about missing Earth. But um, I'm not sure. Maybe she can just teleport back to Earth really like that. Or they can teleport to her whatever they want. You know, this is the, you know, the spear that apparently can possibly teleport uh, gems places. Uh, I get this because somebody in the leaks reddit also mentioned that they're from Korea and they're like, I can't believe it leaked and here's what happened kind of. So I don't know if we can trust that, but it does make a lot of sense what they're saying. It does match up quite a bit with the clip and what we know about Lapis. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think that Lapis will agree to come back and she'll become friends again with Herodot and all the other crystal gems? Or will end kind of badly? Because I know a lot of people have been having problems with Lapis uh, as of lately or for a while actually. And to see her just come back and be accepted with open arms would not be, you know, the best thing after how she treated Peridot. It's just not fair. She always gets everything her way. Well, not exactly. But lately she's been acting a bit of a acting like a bit of a jerk and we'll see if you know she becomes better with her personality towards you know pretty much everyone because she was acting pretty cold recently so we'll see how that changes but what do you guys think let me know in the comments and you know if you like this video and you want to stay updated for more leaks please make sure to subscribe and click the bell button and of course thank you to our many patrons who have supported this channel i just basically woke up and recorded this because i was excited to see that there was another leak which i was not expecting of course because we have no announcement for, you know, upcoming episodes, and uh, basically we have no idea when this will air. It could be like six months from now, a year from now, who knows? Uh, it could be a very, very long time before we see this and we get to see Lapis again, but at least we know she's returning now, and we'll get to see all our favorite gems very shortly, unless some of your favorite gems are currently corrupted, which in that case, we might not see them for a very long time. <laughs> okay, so thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.